Hey, it's Mac, and I got uh, some tips here on dealing with a triple spawner situation. I'm currently in creative mode, and um, on the server I play on, I have a triple cave spider spawner situation, which I'll show you now. I'll go to that, and here we are. Now we're on the actual server, and I have one there. I've got one there, and I've got one. Oh, that's right up there. You can barely see the flames through the water. All right. Um, so this being a survival server, it's kind of difficult just to to build everything and then take it down and change it and build it and change it and build it and change it. So obviously the, the answer is to go into creative and mess around with things. Um, so I have some advice for you. Uh, the first thing is finding the location that you need to be at to activate all three of your spawners because it's difficult the more you the more spawners you have the more difficult it's going to be you need to find the sweet spot where you're standing and you you can see the flames on all the uh, different spawner cages but you are far enough away that the spiders can get out of their escape zone and, and so that means you want to be kind of as far away from them as you possibly can so that the spiders keep spawning and you can get the XP, but um, you're not so far away that they're not work they're not functioning, or that you have two functioning and then the third one's not operating for some reason. So finding the sweet spot is kind of a pain in the butt unless you just want to dig and dig and dig and, and trial and error. What I did was I went to Creative, um, and here we are now back in Creative, and I just made a random world, and I put these pig spawners in the exact coordinates, the exact location that they are in in the server world. So if I were to stand on this this spawner on the server, I'd be at, if you look at the top left corner of the screen, I'd be at 1771, 26, 211. And the same is true for the other two spawners. There's one there, there's one here, and there's one there. Same exact locations. So to, you know, to find the, the sweet spots pretty easy. I just fly around and you know hopefully I can I can figure it out just make a space and you know like right here boom that one's operating that one's operating and that one's operating too so and I'm, I'm a pretty decent distance away because I know if I move back one see there goes the one on the left and there goes that one so if I just accidentally go to this the wrong you know one block in the wrong direction on the server it's going to take me forever to figure out what's going on because I, I don't have the clarity of this open space unless they just dig it all out, which I don't want to do. So here, I'm all good. And so then I can go back to the server and there's that pumpkin, that's the same location. And so I know when I'm standing right here, I'm good. Even though I can barely see just, just the one. Um, and I've tried the different, you know, I've tried a few different methods. Uh, I've tried crushers and a timer and all that and it seemed kind of silly with with the spiders they die so easily with a stone sword. I just have an overturned um, stair right here and drew the water there and what I'll do is I'll cover this up after I'm, I'm done here. I'll cover these blocks up so there's just a, a one block space. The spiders will get to this point and you, and you just kill them and the water brings all the loot and, and whatnot to you. So um, that's something that, that I learned through again through trial and error, messing around and creative. Um, I know there are other methods, that's just the one that, that I like so far. So the other major bit of advice I want to give is instead of trying to figure out horizontally how far to be to get to get the spiders out of their what, what's been called the escape zone where basically that if, if they're still in the spawn area no more than six will spawn, you want to get them out of that, that area so that more than six will spawn for each of these. So instead of having, you know, 18, I might have 50 running around here, which is good. So the easiest way to do this, because I've redone this one about three times now, is just to drop down four squares. So four blocks from that spawner, four blocks from the other one, four blocks from the center one, and it seems like, I think this one is the lowest one here, yeah. I had to go over a stair here, but um, this one is the lowest one. You, you wanted to drop down two below that four so you can get the water to go under it and the spiders have room to land. So 
This is the lowest one, which means that I make the other two the same the same level. So it's all Y18. And then I go back into creative and I check that my location works with the Y18 and, and all that. So um, that's the second big bit of advice. It's just easier to drop down if you can, if you're not going to hit bedrock. Uh, and the very last thing um, I, I want to recommend is just get comfortable play, playing around with the water and the science. You don't have to do anything fancy, you know. Have the water go the direction that they're going to want to go to get to you. And just put it all across the wall, all going the same direction. And then if there's a spot missing, you know, throw a bucket in there. And if it works, it works. Not, you know, tweak it and fix it. You don't have to have some all these convoluted sign organizations and whatnot. You know, this is the most... This is the craziest it gets for me right here. It's just one wall going across and creating this little hump over these stairs. So, um, and up there, is, it's just set up the same way. Go all the way across the wall, all the way across the other wall. And and then just, you know, let yourself get sucked into it. And if you get sucked back in like that, well, then you're all good. And, uh, you know, trial and error. So those are my two bits, or my three bits of advice. And uh, hopefully that'll help you dealing with your spider spawner situation. And I'd love to see any other videos that you guys have of, of a similar, uh, you know, setup, because it's kind of unique. Thanks. Have a good day.